Welcome to Lavile Stadium in San Francisco. Ah, if it's fine by you, Ben, I'll probably just stand as we call this game. And what's the issue, partner? Uh, let's just say I got a little too much of the San Francisco nightlife last night. <laughs> I don't remember the majority of it. Thank God, I was raised Catholic. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horse chip buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. It's a nice run for a first hit. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Except the zombies. They are freaks. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to eat those last two runners for this act, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And he intercepts the ball. Thank you very much, Sister Defense. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Second down and a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do? Run. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Bam, 
Jordan, say goodnight to that guy, Brex. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Brex. You're an idiot. <laughs> the offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he laterals the ball. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about shit. He did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he first through the end zone for six. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls. Can't make it any less. Well, that two-point conversion attempt failed miserably. I mean, that was just terrible. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, look at this guy. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And that defender just got cut now. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. First down and one. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. warming up. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the... Holy crap! He mistimed the spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness, suffering, and then it's over much too soon. First and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they save the deli, who's next? Well, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personnel. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Win, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Three. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Almost intercepted. Third down and ten. Not, not one. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. Straight through the uprights. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes 
anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. You may want to try hurling those traps next time. So one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. Second down and seven. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. In the MF. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. Another pick. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Gladness, gladness. Ah, First down and inches. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and one. Man, this guy just exploded into flames and he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not gonna say he's on fire. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot 
to. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. This guy's a brick shithead. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. morning. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field. First down and seven. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. <laughs> well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Brent can't even get one. Talking about points. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he's running like a moose right now. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. And the QB might have, he just wrestles away from that tackle. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably in it. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The ten. Touchdown! Yo, man, nobody can touch the fireball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? And he came out of nowhere and blocked that. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Oh, man, he just 
went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. Oh, man, Britch, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. First and ten. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very long. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well played. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he? Bricks wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. He didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he's able to grab that one somehow. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. Well, if you don't like kickers, you'll like their backups even less. Here we go. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Bridges' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rex. Very smart. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined? Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back from the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. A lot of game is this close as the score indicates. Keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, he just got crushed.
And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. It helps. Believe me, Grim. It helps. And he's a boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. for a touchdown. Why is it that no one can score in this league without showboating? They're going for two points. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't wrong. I bet it was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personnel. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's bad. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! Uh, and all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! 
and the Nightmares forfeit and lose the game at home. Hell, there's no good way to lose, but uh, this was clearly the worst way to lose. Am I right, Prince? It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.